Hello and welcome to The Print. Today we have with us Dr. Soikhar, Vice Chairperson of the Chin National Front, the political wing of the long-standing ethnic armed organization, the Chin National Army. We are at Camp Victoria, the headquarters of the Chin National Army on the banks of the Tiao River. The Tiao, remember, is the international boundary that divides the two nations, India and Myanmar. Welcome to The Print, Dr. Soikhar. Thank you very much. Dr. Sekhar, this might seem to be an outright question. I have to ask you, how safe do you feel in Camp Victoria? We have had some unpleasant circumstances in January. As of now, uh, there's much going on. So how safe do you feel here? Actually, that's um, the, the air strike can come anytime. Uh, however, that's um, the, we have a um, kind of uh, monitor system and we also uh, built our, our own air defense system like bunker everything and we also have this uh, 24 hours um, duty to monitor that I mean the, the jet fighter so in that way that's um, um, we build the defense system mm -hmm. and for those who always worry this is not a safe play <laughs> but for who believe on the revolution, mm -hmm. of course, this is uh, the safest play here. Oh. So let's talk, talk about the spring revolution. We have witnessed that in recent times, uh, you have been inching closer towards your goal, mm -hmm. as reflects in the victories uh, recently in Rikhadar town and in adjoining settlements. Uh, but how difficult has it been? How have you overcome the challenges and how do you keep your men, your, your people motivated? Um, actually, that um, this spring revolution is not a mere uh, revolution. This is a, a pupil revolution. It means that um, in this revolution, all work of life of people engage in the revolution. That's why we um, strongly believe that uh, we will win um, this revolution. And when we look at their commitment, uh, it is very strong and they have all committed mm -hmm. to end and win this war. And that's moral bring uh, success one by one. What are you looking for from, from the government of India? Do you seek um, dignity? and uh, better treatment for those displaced or do you see seek some kind of sympathy uh, for the with the resistance groups actually first of all um we always i always say that i would like to express my sincere thanks to india government that's um the the look after the refugees uh, who are refugees in um, the, the uh, India, particularly in Mizoram mm -hmm. and Manipur state. Mm -hmm. And secondly, um, India also, I hope India also like to see uh, the stability of Burma. And this kind of stability mm -hmm. uh, can be, how to say, built only when um, the, the SAC is ended. Mm -hmm. And thirdly is of course that some um, um, we have the the uh, we like to have a good neighbor, and you can choose everything, but you cannot choose your neighbor countries, but you can shape your neighbor country, and this is the chance, this is the opportunity that India can do. When you speak of a good neighbor, mm. let me ask you: How has the support of the Mizoram government been? Ah. Uh, it is very huge and of course this Mizoram government what we heard about is uh, without the the approval from the central government mm -hmm. Mizoram government insists to give a shelter to um, uh, the, the refugees yeah. and not only providing the shelter but also to provide uh, some kind of um, the social services including access to education access to help so that is very huge already mm. and uh, when we talk about Mizoram how convenient is uh, the place in terms of logistical support and health care of course Mizoram also is um, survive with very limited resources and 
when I look at them and they share whatever they can share and um, of course that the refugee life is not a luxurious life mm -hmm. but it is a tolerable and Mizoram for refugee that some um, uh, so far as what they provide to us is a um, very su satisfactory level. Mm -hmm. Now let's come back to Myanmar. Mm -hmm. So uh, what is that one thing, when we talk of Chin State, mm -hmm. what is that one thing that connects all tribes? Actually, that's uh, the name of the Chin. That is a, a common name for all of the Chin tribes. Mm -hmm. We may have different tribe name, but when we come to the, the chin and the chin is one of the common name and that is a uh, one of the identity that we share I'm, I mean um, all of us okay and that keeps you united uh, united and then again is uh, we have many common national identities mm -hmm. however we don't have any opportunity to, to enforce that kind of identity so it is very important that's um, um, to introduce some um, national identity what we have already have for example like um, hornbill everybody except this is our, our national emblem and for example like uh, we have mithun that is um, the all of the tribe um, give that's a kind of the 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 national animal like um, again it hornbill like rondo than drone. Mm. All these things is um, the we commonly mm. um, use as a, the our national identity. So that kind of um, um, the, the identity that make us a uh, unity. Mm. So while you continue fighting the SAC, mm. there are also talks or maybe rumors that uh, you may seek a separate uh, nation or greater autonomy. Mm. What what is actually in in mind or in your thought process? When you talk about greater autonomy, <laughs> that's uh, we never have autonomy. <laughs> autonomy. So whatever we have more autonomy is uh, that's um it will be a plus mm. compared with the existing one. Mm -hmm. And we still today our objective is a very clear to establish a federal union, not a separate nation or country. So when we talk of the NUG, uh, you have great hopes from the NUG, but what are your desire and demands from the National Unity Government? Actually, that's um, NUG is, uh, we are part of NUG, yes. or NUG is us. Yes. And of course, that's um, the, um, the in order to mobilize mm -hmm. our revolution or working together with the um the the all the anti sac groups then um yeah ngg is one of the identity entity that we come together what what after the war no no i mean okay. that's uh, during the war yes. and after the war is um of course that's um the each and every federal unit have i mean are the stakeholders rather than the ngg so for the future of the union the 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 each state have their i mean uh the federal each federal unit is um, a kind of stakeholder we can say yes i've, I've spoken with locals um mm in Rikhadar, mm. in other places. And uh, all of them have this worry that uh, the resistance groups, all of them may not be united. So mm. they want all of uh, the groups to come together mm. and fight for a cause. They mm. say that you are united only during mission. Mm. Actually, so far as I know, is um, I mean, people always say that some um, unity is unity, or you are not united. But when it comes to political issue we don't have really a spread idea or a spread vision but there might be a s common objective but different methods mm. used by different cdfs yeah so uh, what do you have to say about that does it lead to differences between 
between many uh, some some of the factions i uh, no well the the when we talk about this some um, like self determination or federal democratic union mm -hmm. that's all and we have already drafted and agreed that federal democracy charter mm -hmm. that will be the basis for future uh, union and again is some um, sometime as a saying go the devil is in the detail maybe when we go to the detail we may have some differences but that is not the issue at all okay mm -hmm. Uh, but we have to create how to accommodate all differences. That's that's very important. Mm. It will be very difficult to forgive or forget, mm. but it has to end somewhere. So, do you agree with a political solution? Is there some hope of a compromise or a ceasefire with the SAC? Actually, military is a means, not the end. And of course, that's um, the the political issue is the end. Firstly, and secondly, when it come to a final solution, then we have to settle on the table. But at that time, who will be on the table is question, of course. And now, when you look at the the SAC, SAC position. They like to settle within the framework of 2008 constitution. That is totally unacceptable by us. And thirdly is, uh, of course, when it comes to the like forgettable, all this thing, then of course this uh, transitional justice is uh, very important. And but how do we do this um, transitional justice? There are uh varied means mm -hmm. so and when you look for solution peaceful solution um you sh we have to include incorporate transitional justice but in which way is um, another issue we can of course discuss depend on the the for example like the sac I themselves and how do they respond on that one? You you agree that there has to be a political solution to end this? Yes, but at the same time, that's um the depend on the, of course, that's a political solution will be the end. Mm. Period. And who will be in that table is another question. And if the SAC cannot agree on what we like to see for the future and we have to fight till the end and s of course that's a settle with our other stakeholders and it is very important that SAC is not the only stakeholder in Burma and it is wrong now is some um, SAC centric solution is not solve the problem Right, right. On that note, let me also ask you, what is the future of ethnic conflict in Chen State and Myanmar as a whole? We know there are many challenges or anything that you might like to you know, highlight. Actually, the, the core and the root cause of present conflict is the, the army, the SAC. And after we how to say, um, damn, or after we end this, the SAC, or we damn the SAC, that would not be problem much. Hmm. So the victory that you're seeing now, mm. you know, you are confident it will be hold, you'll be able to hold on to it, mm. or at the same time also there's the fear of repercussions of counterattacks and offensives launched by the SAC. Actually, that's a, when you look at, for example, like the Northern Xi'an, mm. it has been already one month, and we cannot see this uh, counter-attack. And I always make a statement that uh, even the, the businessmen, they can send even watermelon to China now, but the SAC cannot. And then again, it's a counter-attack 
mm-hmm. or revenge. Mm-hmm. I don't see SAC will manage to make this one. Instead, maybe the people may make against this SAC. Mm-hmm. There have been reports by the UNODC that there is um, poppy cultivation and mm. allegations of drug manufacturing, mm. including heroin and yaba in mm. Chen State. Mm. You know, what are your comments on that? Also, have you taken measures to tackle it? This is not the only time this opium cultivation in the northern part of Chin State. Mm-hmm. And who are behind this uh, opium cultivation? Who allowed them? Mm-hmm. Or that is again is uh, the Burmese army who prov- I mean who make protection of that cultivation. Mm-hmm. And during um, our ceasefire between the 2012 to 2021 uh, whenever w- we raised this issue and again is uh, the the Burmese army the one who always uh, disrupt mm-hmm. this um, the, the uh, operation against this uh, opium cultivation mm-hmm. and that's um, hopefully after um, the victories prevail, mm-hmm. then we can handle that uh, opium cultivation in very easily. Okay. Mm. Okay. If I may ask about your of, of your ultimate goal, mm. is it to defeat the oppressors or p- protect those oppressed? Uh, actually, that's um, that is a uh, both we can say yes. because um, uh, what we like to see is to, uh, to establish a federal democracy union in which that some cell determination have to be uh, guaranteed in its full extent mm-hmm. and again is um, the to end mm-hmm. the the m- rule of uh, military in future uh, mm-hmm. politics in another words is some um, civilian supremacy so <coughs> only when we end it some um, military regime mm-hmm. then that can be restored and again we can build a system that will defend the oppressors at the same time right uh, let's talk about the, uh, the children of chen state in mm. particular so for them a solution is very important for their future mm. right now they are ready to sacrifice it all for their motherland mm. but they also have to live to survive to learn mm to make the nation a better place your mm. nation so such thoughts cross your mind um yes actually that's um when i look at the i mean the youth who actively participate in this, re- this revolution mm-hmm. and again what i talk to them they say that some um, if the min online continue mm. Or if Min Aung Hlaing culminate to fulfill his um, core objective, and they see there is no future for them. And now I am um, almost sixty years. So my sacrifice is for them. I mean for the youth. And now is uh, we fight together. So all of this is uh, for the coming generation right. or for the youth. Right. And then. Of course, that's I like to see. I mean, this use um, to persuade their career, but all of that are blocked by this um, SAC, and of course, that's um, the after you um, remove the SAC, then they can uh, freely um, 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 pursue pursue that their career. So, and then again, is some um, the the we also have to. Uh, support whatever that uh, they need in the future. So whatever good has to come has to uh, it will be after dethroning the SAC. Ac- actually, that's uh, uh, we are in the position of uh, almost uh, winning. Okay. So um, uh, that's why they also make their I mean their time to find this um, revolution. Thank you so much for your time, Dr. Sekhar. It was a pleasure talking to you. Uh, thank you very much. Thank you.